relationship with FTR is a bit complicated. I wouldn't say we have much of a relationship with the Young Bucks at all. Um, we obviously know who they are. They know who we are. We've known about each other for a, a, a while now. Oh my God! Dex Harwood and Cash Wheeler! FTR! When FTR first showed up, yeah, I, I was a little surprised. They had our back. Well, we appreciate the sentiment. We also couldn't help but notice that you two sort of failed to properly introduce yourselves to us. That's, that's, that's okay, that's okay. We're the Young Bucks! We've been carrying tag team wrestling solely on our backs for the past decade and a half. We're the best tag team in AEW. It's so nice to meet you, finally. Oh, Butcher, the FDR's taking it over. Wheeler and Harwood. Who's that? Who's that? What the hell's going on here? Everybody seems to think that they or us are the best tag team in the world. Nick and I have seen it our entire career. FTR is greater than the Young Bucks. It's like it's done yeah. like a stupid math equation, and we always roll our eyes and laugh. We have no doubts in our minds that we are untouchable when it comes to tag team wrestling. Here comes FTR. All four teams teeing off on one another. We will save the Young Bucks every time we have to, every time they get themselves in too deep. When we finally step in the ring with these guys, I want them to know that we made sure they were 100% and we ended them. Nobody's done what we've done in the ring and nobody's done what we've done outside of the ring. And that, yep. that includes FTR. Congratulations, you graduated from the kiddie table, but now you're eating with the big boys. When it comes to FTR, y'all have bit off a little more than you can chew. As far as FTR and uh, the Young Bucks are concerned, I, I think there's respect. I think maybe there's also uh, a little bit of... Uh, it's professional uh, jealousy. Yeah, you could say that. Would call it. Because we talk heavy, we hit hard, and we are the absolute best tag team on this planet. They preach that their style of wrestling is the best wrestling. We think our style's the best in wrestling. FTR, very well documented, they're more of a throwback type team. And they do a lot of things that are base things in tag team wrestling. When you look at the Young Bucks, they're the complete polar opposite. Well, there might not be a lot of stylistic respect between these two teams, there is the self-respect as competitors. You got two very bright teams, two very seasoned teams, two very talented teams. And they both know that the other didn't get there by accident. Yeah, I guess I respect the Young Bucks as athletes. I respect the spotlight they put on the tag team division here in AEW, but that's as far as it goes. We all know that somewhere down the line, we gotta know who's the better team. That's not for now. What's for now is for them to leave Fighter Fest with a win. We're challenging you to an eight-man tag at Fighter Fest. FTR and the Young Bucks versus the Butcher and the Blade and our partners who have no fear. Pentagon Jr. Ray Phoenix returning to AEW and now things are breaking down between the Lucha Bros and FTR. It's interesting if, if you think about why they all agreed to this match. We're businessmen, so if teaming with them and proving a point against a couple of guys that want to step up and put their nose in our business, then that's what we'll do. The Butcher and Blade and the Lucha Brothers, I feel like the reason why they want to get involved with the four of us is just to try to make a name for themselves. If we come out on top, your golden boys are gone. I really can't see any team ever in an eight-man tag match defeating the Bucks or defeating FTR. Don't sleep on the adversaries. Butcher and Blade, they're just big, rugged, nasty, athletic guys. I think the easiest way to put it is iron sharpens iron. Where the Lucha Brothers are speed and power combined, they bring in so many different elements from fast-paced footwork to high-flying offense. La misma de todas las noches. Ser los mejores cada, cada noche, cada lucha. Y demostrarle al mundo y a nuestros contrincantes quienes somos. If you were to pair up two teams that complement each other so well, I don't know that you could do better than Butcher and Blade and Lucha Brothers. These FTR guys, they've got our back. I don't know what that relationship exactly looks like, but for one night, I can tell you that the four of us are gonna get together and we're gonna kick some ass. At Fighter Fest, FTR and the Young Bucks could implode. 
Would there be peace in the valley between those two teams? You'd like to think so for the sake of the match, but uh, I wouldn't want to bet my hat on it. What I really want is Mike Tyson's head on a platter. Cause I haven't forgotten what Tyson did to me on January 11th, 2010. Mike Tyson has arrived! I'm gonna demand that you apologize to me for knocking me out. Or I'm gonna knock you the hell out. Oh, Jerry, oh, no. Suggy Tyson. My God, all hell is breaking loose. All hell is breaking loose here. The locker room is empty to restrain Chris Jericho and Iron Mike Tyson. Last Wednesday night, the most talked about event in sports history happened in this ring. Tyson versus Jericho. It's the fight that everybody wants to see. That's why I'm calling out the baddest man on the planet. Le Champion is waiting for you, man. Chris Jericho just got his wish. And apparently the baddest man on the planet. Orange Cassidy, let's talk about Orange Cassidy. What a quaint character. Isn't he, isn't he, isn't he amusing? He's funny. He's a funny, he's a funny guy in the show and people love him because he's, he's got such a laissez-faire attitude and he just, doesn't care about what's going on. He walks around, hands in his pockets, and he kind of kicks you a bit, and he won't take his shades off. Who wears their sunglasses in the middle of the day? Let me ask you that question. I don't have a problem with Orange Cassidy existing in the Orange Cassidy world, but when you invade Le Champion's world, then you've got a big problem, because I don't like Orange Cassidy. I think he's got a bad attitude. I don't think he belongs in AEW, and he definitely doesn't belong in the same ring as Le Champion. <laughs> Putting Le Champion's hands in his pocket. Back from, oh, Hager. Hager, swinging a miss. Jericho swinging a miss. Orange Cassidy is a very unique dude. I have to admit, when I first saw him, I wasn't impressed. I changed my mind. I'm a big Orange Cassidy fan because he's different. He's unique. Oh, oh right on the head. Oh. oh, the handle of the bat on the head. Jericho's got a, he's got, it's got bags of oranges. This could crush a man's skull. Oh. It's Jericho feeling like he's been shown up. As you can see, when he feels that way, you're gonna see the most violent side of Chris Jericho ever. Blood Orange Cassidy has just been juiced. Chris Jericho has been everywhere and done everything there is to do in the world of professional wrestling. Chris Jericho is the first champion. He'll always be the first champion of AEW. But I think he's the MVP of this company. Ultimately, Jericho has backed up his reputation with results. I don't overlook anybody. That's the reason why I've been on top for 30 years. And that's also why I wanted to have this match. Because I have a chance, an opportunity to impart this wisdom into the fat head of Orange Cassidy. Teach him the do's and don'ts of wrestling. The do's and don'ts of how to get to the top, top, top of the mountain. Orange Cassidy versus Chris Jericho at Fighter Fest. No problem. That's not just any cameraman, folks. That's Orange Cassidy! Orange Cassidy's here for retribution. Oh, Cassidy just charging oh my God. at Jericho, laying in shots! He is trying. I've never seen Orange Cassidy like this. Oh! Wow. What a Superman punch! That could have broke his jaw! When we've seen Orange Cassidy inside an AEW ring, he's very cool, very careless, until he's not. Cassidy and Jericho are different as night and day. Two strong egos. I'm a big believer that this is gonna be one of the surprise matches on the show. Oh. I don't know how these men are gonna wait until July 8th. I am going to beat Blood Orange Cassidy to a pulp. No! no! Jericho swung the jib into the face of Cassidy. Get it? Chris doesn't know who I am. He doesn't know what I can do. Got Cassidy up on that crate, but Cassidy and no! Oh! oh man! Chris, I'm gonna try. Orange Cassidy. No! Oh my God, Jericho went right through a table. 